Hello fellow ship shoppers. It's mid-February and it's becoming a bit of a tradition around this time of year to make um, some changes or additions within the company. So this time last year was when they did the logo redesign and this year there are a few little things um, some of you may have noticed, some uh, may be in development in your area, and I wanted to go through all of those today. So one that started as a test here in Detroit is the preferred shoppers uh, feature. So anyone you shop for and they rate you five stars will be asked, do they want you to be their preferred shopper? Um, so then you get a request in your preferences. There'll be a list of preferred members and you can accept or decline. The customers don't get a notification for that, so don't feel guilty. Um, but it's also a good strategy to accept everyone because you can always just swipe again if you change your mind or anything happens that makes you not want to shop for them again. So the biggest benefit of this feature I see is that when you're looking in a list of open metro orders or you're being offered a bunch of orders, you can spot who has requested you to be a preferred shopper, so list their name, and there'll be a little heart. I think this will help a lot too if you need to claim orders quickly, um, or if you just need to sort through a lot, you won't have to click on the address, you'll already know whose order that is. I do label all my customers in Google Maps, that way I can track if I've shopped for them before and if they've tipped me before. Um, and another feature, if you have Meyer and you take any Meyer.com orders, they are printing off a little receipt. It's got the date, time, the terminal number, and transaction number. Um, there's no barcode, but I hope this might help us do returns. I really don't know how that was supposed to be possible without um, any receipt after you've delivered that order. So the biggest change to the app, it revolves around this occupational accident insurance. So Shipt covers you from the time you leave your house to the time you deliver in case anything happens to you um, or your vehicle, I'm assuming. I didn't get much details from the initial email, but there is a formula fill out if you ever need this insurance um, that will probably have more details in it. Kind of like if you ever need to pay for something for your customer, Maybe you forgot your ship card. There's a form you fill out. You can get reimbursed for that. So I know people hate changes in general. There's a new swipe feature when you're on your way to the store, and then the app tells you what time it was. So the system's going to log all this information. My biggest hope is that it will help our robots that create our pay um, kind of accurately follow if their estimate meets the actual. Hopefully that can help our pay. Um, because there's also been changes to the pay screen. Instead of delivery history, it's now payment history. And so we don't get any new information per each delivery. Like, it'd be nice to know, hey, was this order a Meyer or Target? How long did I take to shop this order? You know, even if it put how many miles it was from the store, I think that would help people out a lot. But we still get the same amount of information. It's just spaced out more. The font is smaller. And... As someone with dyscalculia, this is kind of like a dyslexia, but more for numbers, I easily mix up numbers um, between 5 and 9. Uh, so having the font be smaller is going to make it more difficult for me to read. You know, I have to do my best when it comes to deliveries to not mix up numbers, especially if your address is more than three numbers. That is hard for me. I'm sure there are other people out there uh, that kind of struggle with numbers in this way, that it can be easy to mix up like a five and a six, an eight and a six, or a nine, and what order there might be in if you have an address of five letters. Um, and memorizing numbers is kind of difficult for me. So payment screen is not one of my favorites, but the layout of the order screen, um, I don't think it's that big of a change, but I like how they organized it a little bit better. So at the top, you'll always see the customer's name with their address. I hated having to scroll to the bottom to confirm the address and scroll to the top to confirm their name because that's how I want to put that information together when I label in Google Maps. So there'll be a prompt after you swipe that you've gone to the store to send the intro text. There's also a speech bubble at the top. I've heard some people have not had those function correctly, but I haven't had any issues on my iPhone. I have an SE. So unfortunately, I do deal with the offer cards 
being only able to see like two orders on the screen at a time. I've been doing good with that for a while. But I like the kind of more space in between groups of information. So um, another thing you'll notice is if there is not a note on the order, you will not see a section for notes. If there is a note, there'll be a little note icon with some words in it. Otherwise, you won't see that box unless it's there. I think this organization also highlights better the substitution preference. So back two years ago or more, um, it was once highlighted. It was once different colors. They have changed the exact wording over the years of their substitution preferences. And before this update, I felt like it kind of got lost in the jumble. You really had to look for like, okay, double check if the substitution preference is something other than contact me. It seemed easy for me to skip. Now it's like the first thing in the top of that section. So after you process an order, at the bottom is going to be the address. You can click right there to jump to your map preference. Um, and there's a new button that was kind of confusing to me at first. It says uh, that you have arrived. So you're going to click once, once you've arrived, and then it wants you to swipe to deliver. It's really tempting after you process to want to click another button, and that's okay. The address does disappear from the bottom, but it will always be there at the top until you swipe for delivery. I'm assuming all of the customer notifications will stay the same. They get notified that you started their order when you scan the first item. Whether you click the start shop button or from the list, I'm assuming it's going to be the same. Um, and then they get a notification after you swipe for delivery. I'm assuming they haven't added one just for arriving. Um, but definitely just over communicating has been one of the best strategies for this job because people appreciate to know like if you're running late to the store or if you're running on time you can give them more of a window to communicate back with you. And even for orders that say no substitutions double check in the intro text like hey I saw no substitutions I'll just skip things um, you kind of want to double check with them if they don't want to change their mind like but if you'd rather me text you just let me know um, and then the use best judgment I send a list or sometimes a picture can be better of the things I had to substitute for them in case um, one of my judgments was really awfully wrong um, but I haven't had any issues with that. Something though that we've noticed is Shift is keeping track of those backup items. So if a customer places an order, you know, it could be 20, 50 things and everyone has a backup item. The next time they go to place an order, any of those previous items that had a backup once, that backup is gonna follow them onto a new order if they place it and maybe they don't put a single backup item on there. So I really had to double check with all my customers and be like, hey, you ha listed this as the backup item. Uh, just want to make sure that's what you still want, even though these are some other options. Or just sending a list at the end and being like, hey, I grabbed the backup item for this, this, and this. Um, just in case they go back and think, hey, I didn't put the backup item, what was that? And just double check that we're making all the right choices here with their orders. With all these changes, it's easy to not like something new and reject it at first thought. But I'm excited that ship can only improve from here and a lot of it has been leaning towards a more open communication between company expectations and shoppers here on the ground. So be sure to subscribe here for more shipped news updates, tips, and more.